In this month's newsletter, we'll be showing you how to set up the Davis Vantage View console to receive from your outdoor ISS or outdoor sensors. Uh, we'll also set up, show you how to set up the remainder of the console. The first step is to work out which transmitter ID your ISS is uh, currently transmitting on. To do this, flip the unit over and depress the white button on the base of the unit quickly. The unit will then flash the relevant number, number of times that your transmitter is set to. In our particular case, it's set at transmitter 6. Your next step is to power up your console, ready to set it up. You can either run this on three C cell batteries, which we will be doing, or you can run it on the AC DC power supply that comes included. When you initially power up the console, you'll hear a few beeps. You'll then the console will then power on and show you that it's from Davis Australia and we'll then take you into your setup menu your initial menu is your time your date and your year so we'll run through and set that up the time here is 9 so that's currently set and our date was also set to the 18th of the 10th 2017 our next step is to set up our uh, GMT offset we're based in Adelaide, so ours will be 10.5 or 10.3. Uh, so that's 10 and a half hours off green minutes time. The next screen, uh, so when you hit done, the next screen will allow you to set your daylight savings. In this case, uh, we've set it to manual. Um, and then the next screen will allow you to leave it off. This means that when daylight savings change, you will need to come through and update it. Our next screen uh, will show us which transmitters uh, the console can see. In this particular case, because we know it's from transmitter six, we're gonna skip this screen and go straight through to setting that up. So as you can see, it'll say STA1. This refers to the station that you're looking to set it up on. As a default, most Vantage views will be on transmitter one. So all you'll need to do is hit the up arrow to change it to view ISS. In our particular case, we need to go through to station six to set it to view ISS to let the console know that it's receiving from station six. To do this, you just hit the plus or minus arrow to show view ISS. You then hit the done button. Retransmit is commonly used if you want to bounce signals off other stations. In our particular case, this is not going to occur. We then go through and set up our latitude and longitude. Uh, in our particular case, it's 34.8 degrees south. Uh, we found that through Google Maps, which you can also do yourself. And then the longitude is 138.5 degrees east. You then go through and set up your elevation. Uh, we're based in Dry Creek, so we're not that far above sea level. So we're five meters above sea level. So we've set that on our console by pushing the up and down arrow. The next screen can be left on the, the default setting. Uh, this relates to your barometric pressure. From here, it'll take you through to your rain collector. As we're based in Australia, we use the 0.2 mil collector. Um, so you need to, if it should be on that as a default, but if you need to change it, just push the plus arrow or minus arrow till it shows you 0.2 of a mil. You then hit the done arrow. Uh, the rain season, so basically that's when the console will reset on a yearly basis. So Davis recommends setting that to January, which we'll do now. So basically each year it'll reset your rainfall to that time period. Your next step is the cooling degree day and heat degree days. Uh, so basically this allows you to determine the base um, of cooling or heating degree days. A cooling day is determined to use the amount of energy or fuel used to keep a structure like your home or business cool. A heating degree day is used to determine the amount of energy or fuel used to keep a structure like your home or business cool. These commonly aren't used, but uh, Davis has recommended a base of 15 for both the cooling and the heating. So we'll set that up now. To change, you just push the plus or minus arrows on each relevant one. The next step will take you through to commentary. This will basically show you uh, current weather events or comets and those kind of things. So we find it beneficial to leave it on. It'll also give you funny little sayings like it's raining cats and dogs. You can then either decide to turn your key peep key beep on or off. Um, in my particular case, I don't like the beep, so I've turned that off. Once you've gone through, that'll now set your console up and you'll need to hold down the done button. 
the station or the console will now show your indoor results. Um, it'll start to receive from the outdoor transmitter. In general, it takes a couple of minutes, but it can take up to 20, so bear that in mind. Um, so we will currently leave this and uh, basically it'll start to transmit from the outdoor sensors in a couple of minutes. So that's the basic setup of your Davis Vantage View console. So if you have any questions, feel free to give one of us a call on 1300 737 or 871 or feel free to email us at customer-service at instrumentchoice.com.au. Thanks for watching.